traders to sideways channel my name is Ali Casey today's video I will show you how to use quant analyzer to import trades that are not done by uh, strategy quant X so if you remember from my uh, portfolio of uh, seasonal strategies which basically we use season X tool and you can use the free version of the or the paid version and just come up with some seasonal patterns on any instrument uh, so for example this is the featured pattern today and you will get a pattern like this then you copy this data into an excel sheet and basically this is what i did so i put all the data here the problem is uh, we cannot perform i mean we can if you have the tools on excel but i don't have it yet so uh, basically, I cannot perform Monte Carlo analysis or what if scenarios. In order to use it on Strategy Quant X, you cannot import this data and you cannot even import the logic yet because Algo is not yet is not fully uh, working reliably with the dates. So you cannot say like you cannot say buy on November 27 and sell on December 7 every year. In order to solve that, I basically import the data into Excel sheet and then I save each one because remember I have these uh, trades separately I import them like this and so you can export them also as CSV and so that's what I did so these are all the trades and then I exported just the sample so this is Amazon and this is core and this is USD uh, Canadian currency now, in order to import them, you need to follow a certain format. And that format is you can get it here. So if you go to Quant Analyzer folder and then go to Settings, Plugins, and then Loader General CSV. And then you need to edit this file. So I made a backup of the original. You can open this file in uh, Notepad. You need to follow this exactly. So format that one dot skip row equal one and so on and so forth. These are the fields that can be accepted. Now this can be uh, reorganized, but you have to follow whatever this is. The CSV file has to be asked to follow it. So as you see in my example, uh, ticket, symbol, action size, open time, open price, close time, close price and PL. When you import these trades here, as you can see, the profit is only the price. It's not multiplied by how many shares or the contract value in terms of futures. So you need to do that manually. For example, the profit here is using a hundred thousand dollar. Yes. So I multiply like let's pick a currency here. So when you pick any pattern here, you can see the profit will be point or it will be four digits after the decimal point. And this will be here. So you need to multiply this profit by 100,000 to get this price. Because the, the, the PL here is in US dollars. And then you need to do the same for, for example, for stocks, you need to multiply it by how many shares. And then for futures, you need to multiply it by a contract uh, number and then by the value of that contract. So, for example, uh, corn is $50 per point. So then you multiply this by the number of contracts by. Uh, so I only multiplied corn by five. Usually you should do it by one. But in order to keep uh, the portfolio split evenly between these guys, I put Amazon as 200 shares corn as five contracts and USD as one lot but theoretically you should multiply them all by one once you do that it's very important to also do like you can see here uh, look at my uh, uh, my formatting so it's general 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 they're all except for the date and the date is a custom date so you go to custom and you have to format it as per this file which is day day dash th three letters for month dash two letter for year this is formatted correctly and let's save and corn save and Amazon save 
So now you open Quant Analyzer and you go to Load Report and we'll pick Amazon and then the initial deposit Amazon point value is 1 and tick is 0.01 continue so that's Amazon load again and then we'll pick the corn futures and corn depo initial deposit is 10 and corn point value is 50 and the tick size is 0.01 and then we can load the USD CAD and 10,000 initial deposit and now the point value is 100,000 and tick size 0.0001 so it's all standard so now we brought the trades that we got from season X and now all the trades are inside strategy quant X but in a different form which is Quant Analyzer, which as I told you is part of Strategy Quantex. So once we have these, we can uh, combine them all in a portfolio. So now this is the portfolio and you can see a list of trades and the equity chart. And we can click on portfolio. And these are the portfolio parts, trade analysis, and we can do correlations. So once you have the portfolio, the whole point I want to do is Monte Carlo analysis. So once I got the portfolio, you can click on the portfolio, go to Monte Carlo analysis, and let's do first randomized trade orders. I'll do 2,500 runs. And so these are 2,500 curves by reshuffling all the trades of all these strategies. And I can go to results and all of them making money from 200,000 to almost 70,000 and the maximum drawdown from 11 to 22. And also this is good for, to uh, determine the initial deposit. Remember each one of these has 10,000 initial deposit. To trade them in a portfolio that doesn't mean I need to put 30,000 because that's the power of a portfolio is to basically adding the profits of all uh, strategies and maybe using half the drawdowns of all strategies and half the total uh, initial deposit so in order to determine the initial deposit uh, let's go uh, here and then we notice what's the lowest curve and you can see there is only one pick here i'm not going to use it that's going to be like one so let's pick the lowest here and this should be around 5,000. I might have here 10,000 drawdown, but it's not below my uh, curve. And you can see this curve uh, at 17, even though it's the lowest, but it's up. So this is my main concern is I don't want to go below a certain value. And that value is what? That value is, let's assume it's 5,400. And let's give it some leeway, 1,000, that's 6,500. So 6,500 plus the minimum margin I need to initiate a position. So to trade 200 shares when Amazon is 1,800 is obviously we cannot do it. So then we have some limitation in this portfolio and we, have, we need to know about it. So for example, Amazon at $48, let's say the average here is around, for first four years is around 50 so 50 times 200 that means i need ten thousand dollars to trade amazon in the beginning so ten thousand dollars plus 6500 that's my estimated drawdown in the beginning that's 16 and a half and then let's give, let's give it another 1500 so i should be starting with minimum of eighteen thousand dollars to trade the portfolio of these three and for corn, uh, it's about $2,000 the margin. So it's obviously the lowest of this portfolio. But what I'm driving at here is the whole point of Monte Carlo, first of all, is we need to know, yes, if this uh, strategy is uh, robust, but also mainly to determine the, uh, the value of uh, the initial deposit. And of course, you can do uh, 
what if analysis and money management and and we can see that Friday is not doing anything and long so Friday is losing on the short side Amazon so in currency Friday is losing and Amazon for whatever reason ah there is no short in Amazon yeah so in the portfolio so USD is losing on Friday and corn is not so maybe I can come here and I can isolate Friday don't trade on Friday and let's create what if scenario now when I analyze there is no trade on Friday and the difference is if you don't trade on Friday you make 200 and uh, almost 200,000 and a drawdown of four and the portfolio trading Friday is making same amount of money but with a 11% drawdown so you save on the drawdown so that's a benefit I want to take so I will not trade Friday but anyway you get the idea basically the whole point of this is if you're building strategies using different platform or using Excel or in our case using the CZNX tool and you still want to perform the Monte Carlo analysis to figure out the initial deposits and to do some what if scenarios and money management on it then you can use uh, quant analyzer right now currently at version 4 to perform this analysis so i hope this was useful to you if it is please do subscribe share like comment so google can push it to other traders and i'll see you in the next video